As tensions rise at Royal Lodge, a pundit asserts that Prince Andrew is seeking refuge elsewhere. It is believed that the Duke of York was invited to Balmoral Castle by King Charles and Queen Camilla this summer, along with other members of the royal family. Prince Andrew will obviously go as well, according to Majesty Magazine editor-in-chief Ingrid Seward, who also said, he loves Balmoral. Then Seward said, he's been there every other year, and I think he can find a bit of refuge there, away from cameras and prying eyes. Additionally, it provides him with an opportunity to meet up with other relatives. In 2019, the Duke of York resigned from his royal duties in response to the public's outcry over his interview with Emily Maitlis on Newsnight. Andrew made headlines when he talked about his unbecoming acquaintance with convicted sex criminal Jeffrey Epstein, who had passed away. Having resided at Royal Lodge since 2003, Prince Andrew has been pictured at very few royal events since 2019. He spends most of his time there. In his interview with The Sun, Seward emphasized that the Duke of York has restrictions on his whereabouts due to his aversion to being photographed and criticized. Thus, his perspective is minimal. Though his responsibilities are few, he does have some to attend to. Though there are far fewer now than there were before, he does have some pals. I believe that what he truly needs is a sense of direction. Reportedly, the Duke's residence, Royal Lodge, has been the source of tension between King Charles and Prince Andrew. Supposedly, the 75-year-old queen would prefer that Andrew take up residence at Frogmore Cottage, the diminutive residence that formerly belonged to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. But Andrew plans to keep the Windsor property for his daughters, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, and he also has a 75-year lease that he plans to honor. We realize there's no turning back now, so he has to build a new kind of life," Seward continued. Some have said, why doesn't he move to a more secluded area in Scotland's north? Perhaps it is the course of action he must take. What are your thoughts on this? Let me see them in the comments. Thanks and have a nice day.